Hi, welcome to Two Lacquered Ladies, the podcast about nail polish and nail art by the ladies who stream it. I'm Stephanie, aka Fanatic here on every social media platform that matters. I'm an unprofessional nail artist and I like to make fan art on my nails. Howdy, my name is Danny and you can find me as Danny Shout online. I'm a science educator by day and a nail art hobbyist by night. On stream, I like to create scenes with themes on my nails. Welcome back! everybody especially us <laughs> yes i've missed you even though we were just talking i still always miss you when we're not talking I miss oh. you too. <laughs> i really do yeah that's our problem is that we just like we we get on our thing and we just like talk forever mm -hmm. um, but then we record it so <laughs> so it's all good it's we're here it's for the right. audience <laughs> and we actually spoke for like two hours you know last week and i think it was like three <laughs> <laughs> it was a long time it was a lot a lot of talking that went right down the drain just flush. <laughs> yeah yeah and as you all know i uh maybe you don't know as everybody who's like who everyone who's in deep into the streaming um and stuff i edit the podcast the day before it goes live so something goes wrong like that uh that's just <laughs> it just doesn't happen bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, bum. <laughs> <laughs> someday maybe someday we'll we'll get like an editor or something and they could like do it you know before then but yeah as long as it's me it's gonna be the night before so <laughs> but yeah how have you been danny you just finished your class I did, oh my god i just finished my class i just started the new school year and let me tell you i got a good batch of kids this year i'm really impressed with them i know i know it's so okay so normally i go into a school year i have everything pre-planned down to like you know what i'm doing every single day all the way at least through christmas break um and this year i did not do that i just didn't have time to reinvent the wheel as i apparently enjoy doing and it's worked out great you know, I'm just like pulling out stuff I've already done and be like, okay, let me keep this, toss this, keep this. It's amazing. You go in without a, like a solid plan. You just go with the flow and you're so much more relaxed. <laughs> so it's been good. It helps that I've been teaching the same subject and the same grade level for, this will be year eight now in my same position. So I've got, it's, it's been done before, you know what I'm saying? So that helps a lot, but, um, but also not like trying to hold myself to this like perfectionism standard is it's relieving. So let go of the perfectionism because you know, it's not going to be perfect anyway, because you're dealing with human beings. <laughs> Absolutely right. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm struggling with that. Like I am on a journey right now of, mm -hmm of not being a perfectionist because like in most of my life i'm honestly not like the vast majority of my life good enough is good enough <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then like sometimes i just get usually to be honest often when you see me on stream just being like just losing it because it's not perfect <laughs> it's because there's someone in the audience i want to impress <laughs> Not that I don't want to. I love that. <laughs> Thank you. Not that I don't want to impress the normal audience. Um, mm. I, I mean, I guess maybe I don't. I don't know. I say the most unhinged stuff, especially recently. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been so great. Recently, we've just been going at it ever since Twitch introduced this whole like, um, what what do you call it? Like content warning? Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Uh, it's feel it's felt more freeing be like hey you clicked on the i understand what's gonna happen in this so here's what's happening <laughs> yeah because i've always been a ma i've always had a mature setting on mine so this is like yeah. for mature audiences but it's never been specific and so basically what twitch has done is they've made it so they, they haven't changed the terms of service yet mm -hmm. sounds like they are going to at some point either change the terms of service or just kind of make a blind eye policy about mm -hmm. certain things because like in my opinion i think there's certain things that are appropriate for twitch and that are not like i think that an erotic artist i don't think that that's too bad to have somebody making erotic art on twitch but there's some stuff that's erotic you could do <laughs> that i don't yeah. really think's for twitch mm -hmm. um, and like <laughs> there's the line um yeah. But now I have it set so that on my channel, there might be sexual content and there might be vulgarity and a lot of profanity. <laughs> so let me know if you want me to cut that out so that your parents don't have to hear me No, you're that. good. You're okay. good. I mean, it's, 
that's the beauty that's why we like this change in twitch is because like now people coming into stream know what's up <laughs> yeah yeah they know it's an adult stream <laughs> mm -hmm. and hopefully coming into mind they don't see those warnings so they know like hey keep it chill <laughs> yeah yeah people like me need those reminders <laughs> Because, because uh, yeah, sometimes I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have said that in this chat. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just don't <laughs> care. But not in yours. In yours, I do. Appreciate it. Yeah, because that is another thing with the start of school. You know, it doesn't take long for the kids to realize that I'm a Twitch streamer. Um, I don't really try to hide it, but I also don't advertise it. And they always ask me, like, what's your handle? What's your handle? And I said, I will not give it to you, but I also will not stop you if you find me, because that would be impossible. So <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm sure that we'll have a few new, new little faces in the chat <laughs> every now and then. So, yeah, which is fine. <laughs> yeah. If they do find mine, I will find them and I will kill them because murdering a child is way better than having them in your stream. <laughs> <laughs> they killed my vibe i killed them I, <laughs> yeah exactly when you were studying when you were studying biology i was studying the sword <laughs> i can't wait for our movie night where we're gonna watch the emperor's new groove so that you can yell you threw off my groove and then everyone will know that means to run <laughs> yes yes run that, that's like my like you know danny might not know this but you know when you're playing like an mmo or like dark souls or something and like the boss says something and you know a big attack's gonna come that's gonna be mine <laughs> You threw off my groove! And then, like, the whole thing, like, you know, the whole floor just Shaking. blows. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, ah! What's the mechanic here? I don't know! <laughs> dodge! Dodge! <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But... But yeah, so I did, I did change, I did change my uh, stream to indicate that, that we get a little naughty. And that was the same day I did Barbie nails. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, now the Barbie... <laughs> Sorry, go on. Just, uh, no, you, you tell the story. It's just um, remembering that night fondly and also concernedly. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's a bit of a blur for me. Um, <laughs> but so... I was doing, I, I finally went to go see the Barbie movie. We have thoughts. Mm -hmm. We'll go into that in a minute. Um, I finally saw the Barbie movie. And the thing is that when Nikki's Nails went to go see the Barbie movie, she did Barbie Nails. And she found these pink pearl nail pearls flat mm -hmm. on one side and decided to put them on her mani and then cover them in top coat. And so they really, really looked like some Barbie animal laid Barbie eggs. Um, <laughs> some non-mammalian Barbie animal laid Barbie eggs. Yes. Um, and so I was like, I must repeat this, but I don't have my own pearls. Uh, and so I did. And so we did Barbie spawn nails where I basically made yes. frog or salmon. Salmon was kind of the... The, the salmon ended up being the theme, yeah. The theme, yeah, yeah. Um, and I think it fits because Barbies don't have, you know, genitalia in the same right. way that we do. So who knows how Barbies reproduce? It might be in a stream, um, in a, a live <laughs> stream of a stream. <laughs> I mean, the little dog, you move its tail and a little plastic poop comes out. It makes sense. You, you know, Barbie does a special little move and a little, little, and little plastic egg, egg out. pops out. Yeah. 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 And then... <laughs> Ken does a little move and his, his cloud emerges <laughs> onto the Barbie eggs. Nature is beautiful. It really is. It really is. Um, but other people, uh, they came to 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 thwart our, our natural, pure time yes. we were having in the chat. Like, what was happening? I don't even remember, but there were so many of them. Yeah, so they came in, said hi, like, normal but then pretty quickly launched into um advice on like three-way relationships <laughs> and um that person you know, sent me that message oh yeah 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 the oh i forgot <laughs> trying to it's very clearly a crypto bro but like just being weird about it um yeah no apparently barbie spawn eggs brings out just the weirdest people but <laughs> 
<laughs> Someone sees you're doing Barbie egg nail art and you've got every single adult notification on your stream. They think they can walk in and do whatever <laughs> they want. <laughs> Like, send me a message. This guy was like, do you want to look through these dirty movies to pick one for me? And he said oh, something. Was that what it was? <laughs> I also had a crypto bro. There was a crypto bro that, like, tried to friend me two times on Discord. And then, That's like, the one I remember. <laughs> just sent me a wave message. And I was just like, I thought I had blocked him because I don't want your crypto bro. I don't want your crypto. <laughs> he found me through an LGBT Discord server because you can always see, like, what one you share. Yeah. And this one literally is just like a Discord that you go into in order to get emotes for other Discords. <laughs> like, it just has a bunch of like LGBTQ plus emotes that I can yeah. use anywhere I want to. And he apparently found me through there and was like, you know who loves crypto stuff? The LGBT plus community. <laughs> never i i don't think of those two worlds as going together um but uh, sure buddy sure yeah i think that like it, yeah it's it's not it's it's not a foregone conclusion <laughs> it's not very common um so yeah i have that and then i had this other guy being like help me pick like a dirty movie it will be mm -hmm. fun for you and uh, i hope it gives you a lull and i'm like Dude, I need to pick out one for myself, okay? I don't have time for you. <laughs> I don't know you. I don't know what you want. I don't want you coming back and telling me I picked the wrong one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it, it's so funny because um, the first time we recorded this, we made a comment about how we really haven't had that many trolls and it's been so great. <laughs> so I guess we jinxed it. Oops. <laughs> But honestly, it wasn't too bad. You've got some you've got some mods who can take them out real quick and <laughs> And you know, they weren't so bad. Like like yeah. someone coming in and saying something like, you know, kind of sexual or edgy or weird, uh, that's not too bad. It's when the hate speech starts, which has yeah. happened a couple times. Like, honestly, the the weird stuff's way more common. Thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, i'll take the weirdos over the haters any day <laughs> yeah yeah you're both yeah. getting blocked but you know i'll laugh i'll laugh with one of you and at the i'll other. be like that was funny <laughs> you need to go now but that yeah. was funny and i did laugh <laughs> <laughs> and maybe you're not the worst person i've ever encountered <laughs> yeah but this ain't the vibe <laughs> yeah this ain't the vibe exactly uh, yeah, and streaming, it's really a um, ban first, ask questions later kind of atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, it's, you don't owe anybody anything, you know, you owe, I guess the only person that you owe a good time is yourself, and that translates to your audience, and yeah, if someone's making you unhappy, then nope, time to go. It's interesting that you say that, because like... Because I do mm -hmm. know of a lot of streamers, not personally, thank goodness, because mm -hmm. I would advise them to stop streaming, but who are like, oh, I hate streaming, I hate going live, and I just want to make it work. And it's like... <laughs> yeah, why? Why? You just go get a regular job then. I don't... Like, if you're not having a good time, your audience can tell, and then they're not going to have a good time. And that's just... That's just how it works. Like, it's, it's a live stream. There's no hiding... You know? <laughs> yeah. Also, I think there's a misconception that if you get to a certain point of being good at streaming and being a successful streamer with a big audience, that that's going to somehow carry you. Like, mm. I think that that's true if you do something else. Like, if you're Taylor Swift and you're live streaming on Twitch, you could be sitting there eating ice cream and you'd probably have, like, 20,000 viewers. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> um, but if you don't have that, if you're just some person... Yeah. <laughs> like, it's not going to get easier. It's not no. because, A, you're never going to get to that point just hating what you're doing. And mm -hmm. B, like, no, it's just going to be, it's just uphill, guys. It's all uphill from yeah. every, from the whole time. <laughs> no followers, no problems. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, and I love my followers. And you yeah. are a problem. But I love you. <laughs> The only trolls allowed are the ones that I have pre-approved. 
But yeah, um, it's not all trolls, though. We did see... <laughs> it's not all trolls world tour. We saw Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> I just said world tour in the weirdest way possible, but I'm. I liked it, and I also you. liked that movie, and I'm excited. I think there's a third one coming out. I'm a Trolls fan. I'm looking forward to it. The McElroy yeah, brothers were in <laughs> oh, Trolls <I> too. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, they were. I've only seen it once when it came out. I need to see if it's on any streaming platform because yeah, I really liked it. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we did watch Barbie, and we have mm. thoughts. <laughs> we do. Oh, we do. Okay, so first, tell me your thoughts, because I want to tell you an entire alternate plot that I've come up with. <laughs> I am looking forward to that. Um, so, okay, my thoughts have kind of evolved since mm -hmm. the last time we talked, and I am, like, I'm, I'm curious, I'm curious what you're going to think with my thoughts, so... First, I thought the vibes were immaculate. Of course. The vibes immaculate. Mm. Immaculate. And um, so, Danny and Stephanie talked about the Barbie movie for 30 minutes. You can find the recording on YouTube. Okay, I loved the scene where Earring Magic Ken handed over his necklace to Barbie, and then she remembered the door from Mattel that, she, that was locked that she couldn't get through. And then, of course, you know, there's another door in the back of weird Barbie's house, because of course there is, because they're mirrored worlds. Um, yeah. And she holds it up, and it fits perfectly, and everyone goes, that's what it's for. That's what it's for. <laughs> yeah, and I had no idea that there was just going to be like a G.I. Joe invasion right after that. Right? They didn't put that in the trailer at all. No, I love that was a great cameo. <laughs> but just in time for the Barbie movie, we got the Hollow Taco retro collection. It was quite a summer. <laughs> it it was, was a neon bright summer and I loved it. Okay, so that Hollow Taco retro release, when I saw the video where they revealed that it was going to be styled like a, a VHS in the sleeve and the box comes out of the VHS sleeve, I cried. I literally, tears came to my eyes. Tears. <laughs> I was so face. excited. <laughs> yeah, flames <laughs> from my face. Um, like, I... I was looking forward to the polishes, but I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest. That box was why I bought it. Um, but I'm glad I bought it. I'm really, really glad I bought it because those polishes are awesome. They are awesome. <laughs> they I don't know if you've had the same experience. I think you have of them making. You know, I always joke like they call it a lazy gradient, but like yet I'm working so hard. <laughs> Real actual live lazy gradients with these jelly polishes. Yes. It was like the first nail art I did. Um, they layer. They layer better than any jelly polishes I've ever used. Like, I love some of my Cirque jellies and stuff, but they kind of more have like a cloudy vibe. It's just a very different look. It know, is. More like a, a tortoise shell kind of vibe where it's it's mushy versus yeah. this is squishy. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm following. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> like blueberry milk versus like blueberry jam you know what i mean um so no yeah the lazy gradient was so easy to do i've seen a ton of them and i still can't get enough of them uh you add a little white underneath and it turns into more of like a highlighter like punchy color it's awesome it's a really awesome collection yeah i loved it i used them to do um the barbie rollerblading outfit on my nails Oh, so those look so good. <laughs> somebody came in and they were like, oh, I love how you're doing the rollerblading outfit. And I was like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> I haven't ordered from Hollow Taco since last September because mm -hmm. um, of my ridiculously petty ways. Um, <laughs> also because I'm just not the kind of person who, um, who buys everything from any brand. I mm -hmm. like I I'm just not I'm just not a collector to that level and so oftentimes if something gets released and I'm not like in love I'm just like la 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 I didn't, I didn't see it I didn't see it I, <laughs> I didn't, didn't see, see it, it. I wasn't, it wasn't I didn't see it um but I saw this immediate set the alarm for the release I'm like I yeah. gotta get the box I gotta get the carrying case gotta get the box gotta oh, get yeah, the, the box. carrying case so cute oh my gosh I I want to use it as a lunchbox, but I don't want it to get ruined. So, <laughs> there more? Can you buy another one? <laughs> oh, I could. I could get another one. <laughs> so I think that'd be. Thought. I don't. I don't need to do that. But it's a thought. <laughs> it's a thought. <laughs> but I might. I don't know. 
<laughs> I may. Oh, no, we saw some great nail art using this. So many cool. I saw like neat little tie dye looks that people were doing, of course, with the layers and getting different colors. Um, our friend Diana, who comes to chat, Diana two on Instagram, recreated the box art on her nail. It's so cute. And it looks came out so perfectly. perfect. <laughs> oh God, it looks so so good. And mm-hmm. um, I want I want to give Diana a little shout out uh, because I. <laughs> I wanted to meet Deanna at Polish and Beauty Expo so bad. Mm. And um, she won some of our stickers. And we said we would give her a little bag of goodies if she could work mm-hmm. them into her outfit and wear them at, at PB. <laughs> PB. I always want to call it PPU. At PBE. <laughs> and, um, of course, I was... I got COVID. I couldn't go, but I got a call on Instagram from Jill from Glistening Glow. And there was Deanna... Yes. And Deanna had taken my little fanatic ear sticker and put it over her hollow taco hat. And I never thought I'd live to see the day. <laughs> <laughs> Someone would put my face on a hollow taco hat. Um, it was amazing. It was amazing. And it was wonderful. But yeah. And she did get a goodie bag. I did see her. So <laughs> Yes. Yes. She got her goodie bag. Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodies. Very important. Everyone gets their goodie bags. It is very important everybody gets their goodie bags. Y'all know me. I need everyone to get their goodie bags. So yeah, it was a hot neon summer. I loved all the things that came out this summer. It was a good time. And now starting to, uh, well, it's not getting cooler, but it's starting to feel <laughs> like it should. <laughs> But we're starting to act like the summer is over. Which is... Yeah, exactly. The, the the Halloween vibes are coming in and that thermometer is just not moving. No, no. It's... I'm just thankful every day I don't live in Barstow because we stopped in Barstow for a minute on our way home on our, our long drive home. It yeah. was 118 degrees. Uh. It was an oven and it was like oh 9 o'clock at night. Um, So thank God in Anaheim it's like you know, uh, a, a breezy 87. <laughs> yeah. I would like to be anywhere but where I'm at right now, except maybe my parents' house in Arizona. It's pretty hot out there. But we have really high humidity around here. So you just, you just can't escape. There's just nowhere to go. You have to swim through the air. <laughs> it's boiling and it's burning. Uh, help Texas. Texas is purgatory and I'm in pain. <laughs> Maybe you should go to Arizona. At least it's dry there. Exactly. <laughs> when they, you know, you hear people say like, "Oh, it's a dry heat." It means something, okay? It I'm, does. I can testify. It it's means the difference something. between like the sauna and the oven. I would rather, <laughs> I guess, be in the oven. <laughs> I, yeah, I guess crisp. Is the air fryer. Than sous vide for yeah, me. yeah. <laughs> That's so what my I husband wanted. annoys. Hey, we're always like, I'm sous vide. Yes. <laughs> take me out of the bag i'm done <laughs> but yeah yeah we got our early color passes and early color mm-hmm. passes always come uh way earlier than the actual season. yes and yet it still feels like the beginning of the season you know what i mean it's like it is time <laughs> you're like it's it's april time for summer it's yeah. <laughs> july time for fall <laughs> to say about this collection unfortunately no i'm i'm glad to have filled some more color spots in my lineup you know for nail art it's really nice to have a big variety especially of these like neutrals kind of off colors that came in this collection but uh, so far as like my feelings about it uh, they're not strong (laughs) yeah yeah i really like the theme i really like Mm -hmm. that it's like murder mystery theme um i love the name don't be suspicious (laughs) Oh, don't be suspicious. suspicious. Don't, don't be suspicious. suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't, don't be suspicious. Anyway. Don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> if we're ever sneaking around, like, like I don't know, next Polish and Beauty Expo or something, you and I just need to... Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't be we'll suspicious. Play that. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> um, so that was a great name. Um, but it did inspire me. So we are doing... This month has been Summer Fun Month with our stream group and with our movies and I mm-hmm. thought it would be extremely fun to watch Clue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 1985, starring Tim Curry and Michael McKeon and Madeline Kahn and Christopher Lloyd and just this never-ending list of incredibly amazing actors. 
And it was great because most people had seen it before and they were like hyped to see it again. <laughs> and uh, but we had two people. We had Nikki and our friend. Uh, I'll just call them BPA <laughs> by Panic Attack. They had never seen it before and mm-hmm. didn't really know what to expect. Nikki loves Tim Curry, but had never seen it. And I was like, That's this is crazy to me. <laughs> necessary viewing. He needs to like, I know he's older now and probably is a little more retired. <laughs> um, I don't think he's fully retired, but a little more retired. But, mm-hmm. dude, why didn't you do more comedies? <laughs> do some more comedies, <laughs> man. Some, just come out of retirement or whatever you're doing and just go start, just get into some comedies. At least voice some more Scooby-Doo villains because Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost, top-notch performance from Tim Curry. He is so unhinged in that role. <laughs> he is actually, like, one of the main villains in the first Dragon Age game, my favorite game oh, franchise yeah. of all time. And it's just, like, his character is so evil, too. He's so good. Um, <laughs> So our our young friends saw it for the first time and they loved it. That movie aged like the finest of wines. Uh, and yeah, so I did today, actually. I I really busted it out for the first time. I did um, Clue Nail Art, which, uh, you know what? I'll, I'll try to get it up before this is out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to post them. And I was pretty impressed because the one thing I wasn't expecting from this collection was that these are be stampable yeah um and i just kind of like i was trying to figure out what i wanted to do and i kind of wanted to do a velvet wallpaper look so first i put down there's a dark gray in the collection and then there's like a gray shimmer like metallic gunmetal gray shimmer um and i was like you know metallics sometimes can stamp so let me try stamping with that and it absolutely stamped that's so awesome (laughs) And so I think it looks really, really cool. And then I wanted to do like clue cards. And so I wanted to like do the outline of a card that I had. And so I picked up the, the, what I like to call the chartreuse, the uh, poopy green, um, act of folly. (laughs) Yes. And I used that for the card and not stamped too. So, um, good job, Orly. (laughs) Yeah. It's any opaque cream technically could, could stamp, but. I'm gonna be honest. It's kind of, it's kind of rare to get like a nice stamp out of a non-stamping polish. So especially a more workable fl- formula like Orly's um, to stamp well is really impressive. So good job, Orly. If you could change anything about this collection to fit the theme better, what would you do? Hmm. hmm. Let's see. I think we're missing a like one more vibrant color because we need we need that shock of like red or something. Um, a blood red yeah, would have know. been good. Yeah, it just feels like it's mi- missing the murder part of the murder mystery. Although I guess it's called plot twist, but like still, you know what I mean? Like, it's, come on. <laughs> but still, we <laughs> want murder. Does. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what we're here for. Uh, so yeah, I would have liked to see one more punchy color, especially since it's all creams and one metallic. That that metallic is lonely. I would have liked to see maybe a topper or an- just another different formula in a more vibrant color. But other than that, I- I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, yeah, I I agree. I think it might have been fun to have maybe something a little more mysterious, some sort of a multi-chrome. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know how it would have gone in the color story. I've got to say that, like, Shaky Alibi is this kind of rosy, nude Mm. pink. And I feel like it's very similar to... They've been releasing a lot of these rosy nudes. I don't know who in their workshop has this rosy skin tone that they're always (laughs) trying to get across. Um, So, like, Shaky Alibi was kind of the low point of the collection for me. I didn't even Mm -hmm. use it in this Manny because I couldn't think of a way to... That's not to say that that's, like, just because you can't figure out how to use it in a clue, Manny, doesn't mean it's a bad polish. (laughs) And it's not a bad polish, but... I was kind of like, this could have been something better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Well, we are going to oil our cutes. And when we come back, we're going to talk about some transition polishes and also answer some audience questions. So stay tuned. Hey, everyone. It's Stephanie. And guess what? It's that time of the month. Time for bingo. Join us Sunday, August 27th for Polish Pickup Bingo with this month's theme, Haunted History. Also, I don't know if you know this, but there's a lot going down on YouTube. 
Head over to YouTube tomorrow, that's August 22nd, to hear our first overpour on the Two Lacquered Ladies YouTube channel. Overpours are extra long tangents that we don't think are right for the podcast, but are perfect for our channel. And this time, of course, it's about the Barbie movie. I've also been active on the Fanatic Your YouTube channel. Recently, I uploaded tours of both my streaming hardware and software. So if you're looking to get into nail content, head over to the Fanatic Your YouTube channel for all the deets on how I record and stream. Stay a tubular. All right, we are back. We are moisturized in our lane, thriving. I have peed for the first time in about six <laughs> hours. Um, and let me tell you, what a relief. <laughs> you gotta get that teacher bladder. Like that's that's one hard thing of coming back to school. Is like, ooh, I forgot. I don't I don't have control of my schedule anymore. <laughs> You gotta hold it in. Conceal, don't feel. <laughs> I have the bladder of a scared puppy, pretty much. So. <laughs> oh. uh, so, so yeah, uh, it, it was, it was, it was tough times, but I we, we survived. We persevered. We persevered. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, speaking of school starting and stuff, we're kind of in that weird time of year, as we mentioned at the beginning of the episode, where it feels like we're supposed to be getting excited for fall, but it's still really hot outside. So it's the perfect time for some transition polishes. For me, August is red. It's all about the reds. I'm honestly any shade of red. And it's funny, particularly I'm I'm into the Orly day trip in collection, even though that was a I think a spring collection a few years back. I feel like it's the perfect late summer, early fall collection because it's kind of muted, but still like fun colors. Unlike the Orly plot twist, I think is going to be great for actual fall, but we're not quite there yet. So yeah, that's what, that's what I like to wear in this transition period. What about you? Uh, in this transition period. So I found that this year and last year in this period of time, like, it's kind of the only time of year that I finally get tired of neons a little bit. <laughs> and just like, a tiny bit. <laughs> just the tiniest bit. Like, don't get me wrong. I got this hot pink from Color Club today called Warhol. And it is going to be everybody's problem because I love it <laughs> so much. And it is the hottest pink I think I've ever seen in my life. So great. But um, I have found myself a little more attracted to the darker colors the vampire colors mm. um and the color that i really really love and I, I i wanted to to recommend it but then i was like it was a polish beauty expo exclusive so people can't get it but then i found out that they can you can get it on glisten and glow's website so the polish that i really love for this time of year this year is tinley mm -hmm. park after dark by glisten and glow it is just this beautiful like almost black maybe black it's always kind of hard to tell with a jelly black if it's like yeah. quote true black or not but it's a black base with like a kind of an orangey shimmer orange to gold to red kind of shimmer in it mm -hmm. and i just thought it was just so incredibly beautiful perfect for just this time where i'm just like oh too much color i need to be goth again i need to get back to black yes. <laughs> um, and so i loved wearing that uh, also um i think it's a great time to just start getting into spooky season yes it's the beginning <laughs> yeah and i don't think that there is like anything that makes me think more of a bright poppy spooky cool season than orly synthetic symphony mm, bright yes. for the summer <laughs> dark for the fall somehow at the same time mm -hmm. get yourself some bat nail vinyls maybe do some <laughs> art with that like oh get yourself a nice topper yes speaking of bat nail vinyls i don't this is not confirmed this is just my hope is that that sophia and hollow taco collection i need something bat related i need something bat if it's stickers vinyls a topper like bring it on <laughs> i would love to see it successfully done i know other people have done it and we love kelly here we never speak yes. ill of our queen but i know exactly those, what you're talking about <laughs> that's in her halloween collection were unfortunately not quite the business <laughs> no. they won't come out of the bottle 
And when they do, you can't see them on the brush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the same size, shape, and color as the bristles. Yeah. <laughs> you could have a million bats on there. You never know. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> like, my brush looks really thick today. Um, <laughs> I would love to see a, a bigger bat glitter. I mean, mm-hmm. I, we've never seen Hollow Taco do a chunky glitter. No, ever. a chunky glitter topper. No, I think the closest we've come are like the flaky toppers, like the um, the silver, gold, and red, which yeah. are great. Are they're great? So let's just make them bat shaped. Let's do it. Heck yeah! <laughs> Heck yeah! Come on, Hollow Taco. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I would love to see that, but yeah, I think it's a good time for spooky season. So Mm -hmm. neons um, (laughs) and deep reds and just everything like that. Um, unfortunately, most of my favorite spooky polishes are from Polish Pickup, so you can't get them. Um, but, but that's what I love to see. And the last thing I want to bring up is that Mm -hmm. a good friend, friend of mine, friend of yours, friend of the show, friend of the world, (laughs) Hillary from Mediocre Manny's. Uh, you can't get this anymore, but if you have no. it, well, for one thing, you, think, you can't get this anymore, but Moxie. Moxie. Hi, Moxie. Hi. Moxie. Are you here? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could re-release it. <laughs> you can make some more. You know how to make it. You could make some more. <laughs> you could just slide it on out. You know, we have it. We don't need it. We This is, this is a completely selfless ask. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> honest to god um, but she released a shade with moxie nail varnish called mediocrity it is mm-hmm. a bright yellow base with like little flecky flicky flecks of really unique sh- glitter size yeah yeah i don't see that very often it's like big shimmer <laughs> yes like big shimmer <laughs> and speaking of that <laughs> big shimmer is out to no. <laughs> watch out for big shimmer um, <laughs> they're in your nail polish but um but yeah it, it looks like dijon mustard and it tastes like nail polish but it looks like dijon mustard <laughs> and i think it's a beautiful transitional shade and i i and also will just keep me going all through fall uh, I need mm-hmm. to figure out what kind of Manny I'm doing with that and how to make it mediocre. <laughs> I used it in a mediocre Manny today. Um, so <laughs> this will be released later in the month. But my uh, Great Gradients collab, the theme was uh, an, an analogous colors, like colors that are next to each other in the color. Analogous. Wheel, and it just so happened. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Analogous, analogous, anyway. <laughs> analogous. Um, analogous. I love it because that word is in biology and I have to say it at some point and I forget every time. <laughs> anyway, it just so happens that greens and yellows are next to each other on the color wheel. So I went ahead and busted out Elysian Fields and Mediocre and I made the most pickly gradient I've ever seen. <gasps> like literally on a pickle, you know how it kind of gets yellow towards the tip? I did it. I achieved it. I just needed texture and I didn't have that, unfortunately. So I added a gold shimmer and it's just, it looks, I smelled the vinegar. (laughs) I cannot wait. I'm already throwing up a little bit in my mouth after that pickle juice stream I did. Yes! (laughs) Oh my gosh. I can feel it. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, no, they came out pretty nasty in the best way possible. So I'm very excited. <laughs> I feel like you could, I feel like gradienting that polish with a regular cream sounds pretty mediocre to me. <laughs> yeah, because it, it brought out a lot more of the brown little tiny Specs. shimmer glitter thingy. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it made it, it made it gross <laughs> in a really fun way. <laughs> Perfect. Perfection. That, yes. I think, Yeah. So yeah, if you want to know my opinions, Danny's opinion is red. <laughs> yes, for August. For August. Uh, I actually think mediocre is the perfect September color. That kind of school busy yellow mustard vibe going on. Uh, I love that. September is yellow. August is red. November is brown, but like in a good way. <laughs> we need to talk about November really quick because okay, we're we're cut so. Up next in in Polish Pickup, we are getting mm. Haunted History. We're yes. hype. We're here for it's gonna it. It's going to be cool. It's going to be great. Bring uh, back uh, Ghost or Grandma. Um. <laughs> yes, bring back Ghost or Grandma. I still regret. I still, I have regrets. Um, yeah, I need yeah. that polish. <laughs> <laughs> I need it so bad. Um, so bring back Ghost or Grandma. 
Um, then we have 90s grunge. Don't yeah. get me wrong, because when people accuse me of being a hipster correctly, I tend to say <laughs> I'm more grunge. Um, <laughs> so I'm ready. I'm happy. We're good with that. And then please, 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 are you listening? Are you listening? Are you there, Paula's Pickup? It's me, <laughs> Margaret. There, <laughs> Can we please have a soup theme for November? We please. are hungry. We are hungry for soup. <laughs> soup. Only you can satisfy us. How fun would that be? There's so many different kinds of soup in there all. Right? Make wonderful polishes. There's even like a spa chosen stuff. You know, you can even have your bright poppy colors. I am just saying, at least let us vote on soup. At least. Don't leave it out just because you think. <laughs> I know what I'm doing for Weird Manny Squad this month now. Uh, I'm doing soup nails. Yes! I'm going to manifest this. Oh my god, I just had an With idea. Curly little ramen noodles. Yes. <laughs> you could if you wanted to. You could uh -huh. get some of that Lipton chicken soup with the little noodles and mm, do like have, a dip. I don't think it's the chicken one, but I have them. I have some version of them. Yes. <laughs> like do a dip times, Manny. Yes. 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 Oh yes. my God. Oh my God. I'm, hmm. I'm so ready for this, Danny. <laughs> Keep an eye out for that stream, y'all. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know when it's coming up. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Lipton <laughs> dip nails. <laughs> Lipton dip nails. <laughs> Just what we need. It's what we're it's what we're doing. <laughs> All right. So speaking of wild and crazy things, we've got some audience questions. <laughs> the first one is from our dear friend Lilu, who actually asked a reasonable question. Kind of. Shockingly. <laughs> I know. It's not reasonable to a nail polish collector, but we can try. Uh Lilu asks. If you had to remove one color group from the nail polish rainbow, what would it be? Ooh. Um, I've thought Ooh. about this. <laughs> yeah. I've thought about this. Mm -hmm. And I think I have an answer. Okay. There is no need for coral. We don't <laughs> need it. <laughs> we have pink. Coral. <laughs> we have orange. We don't need coral. And okay. everybody that goes to any of my nearby TJ Maxx's agrees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not selling. Nobody needs seas of coral. And then they can fix the reefs in Australia by TJ Maxx. Put it Max. back in the ocean. Do not bring it into my nail polish. Exactly. We just okay. don't need coral, period. Okay? <laughs> I, uh, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I kind of took this question two different ways. Is it that we're going to stop making a single color, in which case, you know, my, my first instinct is purple because I get tired of seeing purple on polish pickup. However, practically, I guess it'd have to be the pinks and the reds to stop production because we have enough. Yeah. Um, but if, yeah, we're just like taking it out of existence, then I gotta go with like that weird, well, um, not Act of Folly, but the one that you mm, mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's that one? Shaky alibi. <laughs> Shaky alibi. Because there's maybe a few people who are that skin tone, in which case it's weird manicure hands. Or, I mean, weird mannequin hands. And then for the rest of us, it's just like a weird nude. Like, just we nobody's that color exactly because it's like too rosy. It's I don't like that. We can get rid of that one. Nobody needs that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. That whole line of that. We don't need it. <laughs> absolutely fair yeah I, I i i think that we should just eradicate coral though okay <laughs> in all seriousness let's just stop it i know i'm trying to figure out like do i even have any corals on my shelf it's hard to tell because like, coral is like a weird it could be several different colors but yeah like a true bleh, coral yeah we don't need it mm -mm. we don't need it we don't need it you want it mix pink and orange together get move on with your life <laughs> <laughs> fair enough Fair enough. Like, is it a pinky orange? Is it an orangey pink? I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> Get it out of my TJ Maxx. Make room for more light slacker that I will also not buy. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> That's also still mostly coral. All right. And we have one more question today. A, a very important question. One that has been on my mind as of late. Uh, Sunburnt Galaxy. 
from from also our chats uh i'm on on my stream as well uh she asks would you rather die from being trapped in a submarine as it slowly filled with mayonnaise or as it slowly filled with elvis impersonators bad ones <laughs> this this question torments me it truly does because who <laughs> who are these elvis impersonators like and we asked son that and, and she said that they're just like the guys you know just normal guys in which case it doesn't actually matter that they're Elvis impersonators. Like, maybe they'll be dressed, as, but surely they'll act like normal people once they're trapped inside a submarine. In my mind, these are like, uh, these are like some sort of monsters that just like form into an Elvis impersonator and insist on impersonating Elvis badly. The pure idea while... of yeah. <laughs> an Elvis impersonator come to life. Exactly. Like, you know, the goo henchmen from um, Howl's Moving Castle? It's them, but they take the form of an Elvis impersonator and just keep pouring into the sub. Uh, and I would rather have that than mayonnaise. Yeah. Um, I can't <laughs> help but think that they're actually dudes, actually, like real people, uh, mm -hmm. Maybe with families, but depending on how bad of an Elvis impersonator they are, maybe they don't, <laughs> and how insistent they are in impersonating Elvis. Maybe they don't have families. But, <laughs> um, and I can't help but think of being in a submarine as more and more Elvises show up, and it becomes fuller and fuller, and we're smashed against the walls, and oh, they're the drooling odor. into my... I thought the odor right now, too. Oh. They're drooling on me. They're peeing. Oh. I'm peeing. There's oh. no air. Our bones oh. are crunching. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the mayonnaise. Or, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I guess I'd still rather not die alone. <laughs> You're a monster, Danny. <laughs> I hate this question. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like mayonnaise, and, you know, if it's the way I'm dying, I'm not going to be permanently scarred by it other than the death. So, <laughs> All alone? As it slowly blah, 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 fills up the sub? Like, no! Is it better than being surrounded by a bunch of dying elves? Oh, no! <laughs> Is it worse, rather? <laughs> I don't, like, I don't anymore. know anymore. Don't make me choose. But Sun says, no, you must choose. <laughs> or else I get, you're getting I'm both. I'm still, I'm gonna go with the Elvis impersonators. Call Man me crazy. covered Elvis impersonators <laughs> wrestling in the submarine. Oh my god. That sounds like fun for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking that too. <laughs> we could mix the two together. Maybe we could use the Elvis eggs to make the man. <laughs> I mean, that's the, that's the other thing. If these are real people somehow coming in, maybe we could figure out a way out together. Maybe there's a chance. <laughs> As it fills Have up you watched a lot of Elvis. things about accidents and yeah. submarines? <laughs> I don't think there's much of a chance. I don't think it's, yeah. <laughs> I think no. you and the Elvises covered in mayonnaise wrestling are going down. <laughs> <laughs> But maybe oh. one of them's a very bad Elvis impersonator, but like a very talented, uh, <laughs> I wanted to say semen, which is <laughs> 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 <Just> correct. <laughs> yeah, very talented, um, sub guy slash nuclear physicist slash get hold his breath for a really long time and can't get yeah. the guns. <laughs> Whatever we need. <laughs> yeah, maybe he is Mission Impossible, the person. Yeah. <laughs> And he's like, yeah, I can do it. But also, hand me the mayonnaise. I want to wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <sighs> On that note, I think that's definitely enough for the day. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. And um, I hope you listen to the podcast again. <laughs> yes. Please come back. <laughs> please come back we miss you already <laughs> thank you all so much for listening please check out our youtube channel and leave a comment with your favorite moment a story to share and of course any questions you'd like us to answer in future episodes be sure to check out danny and i on twitch instagram and youtube i am fanatic here she is danny shout all of our links are in the description join us next time when we debate the age-old question would we rather fight one horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses while mayonnaise wrestling in a submarine. Stay lacquered.